Okay. Hello. I haven't done this in a while. But I wanted to get my thoughts out because I was just kind of rambling to myself anyway, so I might as well ramble to the internet. Um, yeah. So, Vince McMahon has announced that he's going to try the XFL again in 2020. Now, I don't really give a jack shit about American football. Hell, I don't give a shit about rugby. I barely give a shit about soccer at this point, or, you know, normal football. Um, but holy crap, just... Why? Why now? Why now? I mean, yeah, I know it's been like... Jesus Christ. It actually started in, like, what, 2001? So, it'll be, like, almost 20 years when they actually started up. But it didn't work then. What the fuck makes him think it's gonna work now? Like, has he found a network that's actually willing to take it? Because I can only assume... That he has, because otherwise, why the hell would you bother going this far to announce it? And the funny thing is, everyone thought it was going to be the XFL, and I think they were all joking. And then it turned out to be real. So everyone's like, oh, really? You're gonna go there again? Like, you tried, it failed. You move on. You make it the butt of the joke, because apparently it was, at least once or twice. I mean, at least I saw a gif that had Cena making a joke about it, and I'm pretty sure that was probably, like, an actual promo. It would not surprise me. Um, but fuck me dead. Like, the only reason I know about the XFL at all, well, at least the history, like, a bare-bones kind of summary history of it, is because of the Wrestling with Regret channel. Um, but my god. If this actually goes through. And actually does well. I'll be surprised. If it flops like it did last time. Hopefully Vince will just give up. Because you know he's only trying again because he's a stubborn asshole. He's like, oh, maybe now it'll work. It's like, if it didn't work in the fucking early 2000s, what the fuck makes you think it's going to work in 2020? Like, it's... <sighs> just, I, I don't even know. Like, I'm, I'm going to try and keep this as short as I can as well, just because otherwise I'm going to be rambling. But, also, what the fuck happened to Vince? Like, when I saw the, the first link I saw about this, where it was like, here's the stream where he's making the announcement. Because I was like, no, it, it can't be the XFL, can it? It so looked like this image of him was heavily photoshopped to, like, make his eyebrows really tiny. And just, generally, it looked like very uncanny valley. And then I click on the stream link, or whatever, or I just end up in the stream somehow. And my god, what the fuck happened? I mean, he's never looked all that great to start with, but Jesus Christ, what the... Who did that to his eyebrows? Can, can, like, can someone tell me? I like, we need to find out. Fuck the XFL. I want to know what the fuck happened with his eyebrows. It's just so weird. And generally, he looks like really shit. Like, what happened? I mean, like, you could say, oh, aging. Like, Jesus Christ, this aging must have hit him like a fucking brick wall. Jesus Christ. But anyway, that's enough about making fun of the appearance of old rich men. Um, yeah, I just... God, I don't even know anymore. Like, again, if it 
if it if it tr- if it actually goes through and he tries it and it fails, then please, please let that be it and him just give up. And of course, though, there is one prevailing bit of silver lining that might come out of it, where someone I saw on Twitter was like, and I had kind of thought this myself, but like only kind of. So it was this tweet that actually pushed me over. It was like, oh yeah, if he focuses on the XFL more, and it actually like works this time, then that means he might have to actually hand over the reins of WWE to other people, or at least most of it to other people. I mean, by now it probably is kind of mostly. At least I'd hope so. But. <laughs> But, you know, like, I would hope that that would be a silver lining of it, that Vince steps away from the WWE either completely or mostly, as far as booking goes, because, Jesus Christ, the day that he steps down is going to be an interesting day for the WWE, because we don't really, I mean, like, yeah, Triple H runs NXT and everything, but... Um, that's kind of in a very controlled, small bubble, whereas the actual main roster stuff is like, uh, I, you never know, you might fall into the same traps, and God knows what the hell, um, Stephanie would do, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I think I'll actually call it here, because I've... I didn't have much to say to start with. I mean, there's going to be people who are going to be able to say a fuckload more than me. Um, And I don't even really expect many people to watch this, but I just wanted to get my thoughts out while I had it in my head that I wanted to. So yeah, I don't know why the fuck this is happening. I really don't know why the fuck this is happening. No one will ever be able to explain to me in a way that makes sense why this is happening, aside from Vince just being a stubborn prick, um, but, yeah, I just, I don't know, I, I just, I don't, it, it makes no logical sense why you would try this again, but, well, fuck it, I guess he thought with all the shit that's going on with the cruiserweights, he might as well replace it with something, anyway, I'm Thomas Fireheart, and I will see See you next time with whatever the fuck, because I'm. This probably isn't going to become a regular thing for me. Um, just putting that out there now. Um, I mean maybe. I don't want to do audio movie reviews anymore though, because those are too rambly. But I'm starting to ramble now. So, one last bit of, one actual bit of housekeeping though. To anyone who actually watches Splatoon footage on my chat. <coughs> oh, God damn it, that came out of nowhere. To anyone who watches the Splatoon 2 footage I put out, I would just like to say that the rest of my stuff for the action versus comedy Splatfest will happen, like, will actually be uploaded. Um, there's only a handful of people that would give a crap. But to those handful of people, in case you're actually watching this, which you're probably not, because it's not Splatoon related, um, that footage will be out before whenever the hell the next Splatfest is, at the very least. Which, I mean, you know, that could be a month from now, that could be two months, whatever. But anyway, short and concise, XFL happening again is really fucking stupid, but hey, if it works, it works. It doesn't really affect me much unless they try to put it on the network, because, please, I will leave you with that. Please, please do not try to push this on the fucking WWE Network. I'm Thomas Fireheart, I will see you guys next time.